So question one from paper one of this new hire, kicking off a little two mark question here. Here are two vectors expressed in terms of the unit base vectors and it says they're perpendicular. Here's an unknown component, find it. Well, if they're perpendicular, that means that u dot v must equal zero, the scalar product zero. So what are these? Let's just write them out as columns. Eight, two, negative one dot negative three, but that's a t negative six has to come to zero. So multiplying and adding the corresponding components into a single number, a scalar, would be eight times negative three plus two times t plus negative one times negative six, and that should all come to zero. So negative 24 and two t and six should equal zero. So two t should equal 24 minus six, which is 18. So finally, t should equal nine. There we go. Two marks. Number two then from paper one of this new hire 2015. Here's the equation of a curve view to find the tangent at it at the point where x is negative two. Well, there's the coordinate equation. That gives you the y coordinates. If you want the gradients, you'll need the derivative. So multiply by the power, take one off the power, and that disappears, and that's all there is to it. Now, if that's the x-coordinate, what's the y-coordinate? It'll be 2 times the x-coordinate cubed plus 3. Negative 2 cubed is negative 8, so that's negative 16 plus 3. So that's negative 13 for the y-coordinate. And what's the gradient? That's 6 times the x-coordinate, which is negative 2 cubed uh, squared. So that's 6 times 4, so that's a big 24. So what's the equation of this tangent? y minus the y coordinate, so y plus 13, is m, which is 24 times x minus the x coordinate, which is a negative 2, so plus 2. That might do it its own. So you've got 24x plus 48 minus 13. So there we go, 24x plus 35. There we are.